Hello there everybody, this is Pinstripe Paragon for Insomnia LPs, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. Last episode, we... Oops. We did Dry Canyon and Cliff Town. In this episode, we're going to Ice Cavern, and we're probably going to take on the boss as well. Um, shouldn't be that long, so... I expect to get the remainder of this place done today. Swiggity swag. Anyway. So, here's the thing. There is a secret, kind of, over there. I could get it right now, but I still have lots of gems to get up. Eh. Hmm. I think I'll just go for it. So, just gotta take a leap of faith and get yourself three lives over here. As a kid, that always stumped me. Like, on how to get to it, but yeah, it's really simple actually. So, we're basically just going to do this level in reverse, which kind of helps, and it kind of doesn't at the same time. It's really no big deal. It's just some of the orders of like what the dragons would say are, you know, irrelevant by the time you save them. So, you know, that's about it. But here's our. First, should be last dragon. <laughs> Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome, sir. Anyway, all right, we got this son of a scrub, and we took him out real good. All right, collect some gems. I remember as a kid, like this part would always give me trouble just because I'd be so bad at platforming. But then I got better. So. And then I remembered, like, these bats. I was just like, so this is where they come from. Because I was, like, three, you know? So I didn't know any better. Like, I had played some other games, but I, I didn't know where they came from. Because, like, bats. Because I was three. So I'd be like, oh. Oh. So they come from this place, I presume. Because, well, it's my favorite game. So logic works that way. Because as a kid, you don't know what logic really is. I'm I was a weird kid. <laughs> I still am, but I'm a bit more normal. Get back here. You're not a thief. Why? Sorry about that. I thought I heard something. Um, but anyway. So, it's been a little while since I've recorded for Insomnia because like my dad got sick. He's okay. It's just like he had some like allergy problems with like the so I had to like, you know, help around the house a little bit more. So, you know, I really couldn't produce any videos at all. And, um, like pretty much all the videos I had uploaded on my channel in that time, which wasn't very many, were like scheduled on pub, were like scheduled uploads anyway. So, you know, stuff like that. But, just about done with this first, the last area thing. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Ready for what? Everything! So, yeah, that's why I haven't been uploading on um, here. But things are getting back to normal, even though school's starting, like, within a week as I'm recording this. In fact, I only have six days left of summer, as when this will get uploaded, actually. Because I'm uploading this, like, basically the night before it gets uploaded, I assume, because I don't know when, uh, when it will get up. All I know is I will have this video ready by August 8th, I think. <laughs> anyway, here's the third dragon, Andor. Thank you for releasing me. That was like the exact same dragon, just a changed color palette. Oh my god. But trust me, that's not the worst of the remakes. <laughs> there's like... There's a couple that are the same dragon later on, like the same name and everything. So... Oh well. What can you do, right? I mean, it is a... Is, is this considered an early PS1 game? I... I honestly have no idea. I, n I don't. I think this was made in '98, <coughs> and you know they were released subsequently. I mean, like you know, consecutively. That's what the word I was looking for. 
but I don't know, like, how would you consider this middle PS1 era? Or, like, early PS1? I don't know. Here's Todor. We have one more dragon after this guy. Spyro! Some big norks up ahead are wearing armor. And in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. Those type of dragons are usually the most helpful, it seems. Because, like, you know, of all of them that we've seen, and the last one that we'll see, they actually give us good information. You know, unlike some of the other dragons who just say, Thank you for releasing me. And then I'm just like, oh, oh. Okay, you're you're helpful. It's like I help you, you help me. Give me some tips. Well, there aren't any tips to give because, well, they're scrubs and there's nothing up there. Can't unlock that because the key is down here. So, yeah, here it is. And are there 400 gems or 500? I don't remember. I guess we'll find out, like, once I open up that, uh, chest. This might be a 500 one, because I remember, like, a 500 gem level be coming up, like, rather quickly through in the game, you know? Like, an early level. This, I would consider this an early level. It's in the second home world, so... Yeah, we're about to get to mid-game, which is awesome! You're kidding. I can't believe I just fell. <sighs> it sucks. Doesn't it? I mean, nah, I don't know. It's my favorite game, so I can't say it's terrible. Like, you know, what just happened. Anyway, so what's up with all of you? Uh, recently, I tried to replay Parasite Eve again. I'm, well, I'm actually getting pretty far this time. Like, the first time I got it on PSN, which was like in 2011. I only finished day one on it. I was day one out of seven. And, um, you know, I didn't really play it much after that. I don't know why. Like, the story was, the story's good. It's just, I, I lost interest rather quickly. But then I was like, well, I'll tell you after this. A word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <laughs> like me. Before charging those large enemies. Anyway, like, um... So... What am I trying to say? I don't know. Uh... Crap. I am missing... Oh, there they are. Okay. So, so it is a 400 gem level, huh? Hmm. It's odd, but, uh, we're done. So, no big deal. But, uh, you know, I never played it again, and then I started playing it two days ago, two or three, um, and I'm already starting disc two. I don't know how long disc two is. I mean, it stays, it's like half a day five, and then day six and day seven, so I, I can't say it would be that long, but then there's New Game Plus. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Like, I'm, I might just to get to a certain point in the game. Because I actually plan on LPing the game, possibly. And, um, I know that there is, like, a, like, bonus dungeon that's, like, only th available through New Game Plus. So, I don't know, we'll just... Wow, well, I'll have to see, like, how I, you know, go about that. I might just, like, get a save file off of game packs or something. I don't know, people, they do that, so, you know, have their own save file for it and stuff. Oh, wow. That, that is going really well. So we got these guys, those things from, um, what's it called? I forget the level name. I know there's something back here. No? But, ah, it's on this side. Okay. But, uh, yeah, we got those things from Clifftown. Oh, joy. Right? Okay. Um, come over here for a magenta gem. 25. Nice. 
Yeah, this level is actually pretty short, um, if you know what you're doing. Did I get all the gems over here? Uh, yes I did, okay. We'll get that guy eventually, but, uh, right now, my main objective is to just, you know, continue on through this way. And, alright. So, I, I'm thinking soon, like, when I start school, I'm just gonna go through Sparrow 3. This guy thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I'll tell you one thing. He should watch his back. Yeah, because Spyro 3 is an LP I plan to do on my own channel, you know, relatively soon. Sooner than I would for Insomnia. Just because this is actually, for those who are just now, like, starting to watch, this was a re-LP. Like, I've already done this game on my own, uh, on my own channel. And so if you want to check that out, go right ahead. I don't know why you'd want to, though. I mean, you're watching this right now. But anyway... <laughs> Uh, get this guy, and that's basically everything on the outside done, so that's good. Can I, I can't even get over there. whoop de doo sweetie swag. What's in the bag? Hopefully a gem. I, I don't know at this point. Anyway, but I'm not sure what my next LP will be for this channel. Like, I was thinking Spyro 2, but at the same time, um... Like, Sparrow 2 is probably my least favorite out of the original trilogy, and I know that's actually quite an unpopular opinion. Um, most people think that the first one is the worst out of the trilogy, even though it's still a good game. They just think it, you know, all the other games are better. Which, I do have to agree that they are better in certain aspects, but at the same time, uh, you know, Crash... I mean, not Crash... Did I, was I saying Crash before? I don't know, but uh, Spyro 3 was, um, what's it called? Spyro 3 is, in my opinion, the best one out of the three, and a lot of people think 2 is. I personally think 2 is the worst, just because of some of certain challenges, um, like in Skellos Badlands or Agent Zero. I think we all have bad memories of Agent Zero. I hate that son of a bitch. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. In the next episode, we are actually going to be heading to... But aren't... I'm already a dragon, you scrub. In the next episode, we'll be heading the Magic Crafters. So, thank you guys for watching, and make sure to check out everybody else on Insomni LPs, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.